<laughs> it's not, it's met with just unbelievable misery. So I, when I call him, you want to do another movie? <laughs> yeah, they're laughing. They don't know it's accurate. <laughs> no, I, what happens is, is that you get a language in the, with some of these people, and uh, in the case of Joaquin and other, other people that I've worked with multiple times, you like the same things. You're interested in the same things. You want to explore the same things. But I started working with Joaquin. He was like four. You know. And, <laughs> I mean, I know the jokes aside, I think he was 20, and I was 28. So. Uh, and that was the yards, right? Was that was the yards. yards. My, that was still to this day my least successful film on every level, and uh, which I like to remind him of. Um, <laughs> by the way, I, I don't know, the, the woman who introduced me, you know, I was 23 when I made my first movie, which is Odessa. really, yeah, Little Odessa, which is really insane because. Uh, it tells you how dumb Hollywood is <laughs> that they would give me any money at 23. I mean, I knew nothing. If I knew how little I knew, I would never have hired me. <laughs> Which is what you got an award? Oh, an award. <laughs> That's a story in itself. I remember I went to Venice, I was 24 years old by then. And I went to the Venice Film Festival, and I, the, the studio hated the movie. And they didn't want to release it. And a man named Gillo Ponticorvo, who made Battle of Algiers, a legendary movie, had saw the movie, I don't know how, and loved it. And Gillo said to me, he said, I do not have to go to Venice, to go to Venice, I do to go to Venice. I said, yeah, I think Venice is not a good idea. So the next thing I know, I'm playing the Venice. I show up there and I said, well, how shall I dress? Oh, it's a Venice. It's a very good A jeans and a t-shirt. Oh, it's okay. A jeans and a t-shirt? See, see, jeans and a t-shirt. So I dress, you know, sport coat and jeans. And everybody else in black pie. <laughs> And it's the official screening of a movie called Il Postino. They sit me right down next to you. Yeah, but here's what happened. It's very sad. Don't be clapping. <laughs> they sit me right down next to the director. I've just landed from Los Angeles. I'm completely jet lagged. Two seconds into the movie, I fall asleep. <laughs> the, my producer lights come up. Everyone's flooding. I'm in a jeans and a t-shirt. My producer says, says, you're all snoring really loudly. I said, why didn't you wake me up? He said, it was very funny. <laughs> and I never forget, Michael Rapper directed that movie. Then my official screen comes, and I never forget, he said to himself, I saw you in a movie tonight. I said, did you? He goes, great cringe, great clean. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so my official screening comes up, and I'm like, that's it, black tie. Black tie, I got it. Everybody else jeans and a t-shirt. <laughs> they think I'm the waiter. I'm getting drink orders. <laughs> they sit me down next to Maximilian Schell, the actor in the movie, yeah. and to my right is George O. Armani. <laughs> and all of a sudden, Maximilian Schell has, has, has not seen the film yet. The lights come down. Oh, it's a very bad film. <laughs> very bad film. And he starts going like this. And by the way, to this day, I don't understand what follows. I look bald and fat, and I will never again play humble. What's that? I will not play humble. I cannot play humble. I'm bald and fat, no more humble. Uh, humble? Humble? Anyway, he's talking like this he's during the movie. Also, George Romani goes, and that's a millionaire. Trying to watch movies, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> and the two of them get into a fight. They might just fight. The movie ends. I'm dressed all wrong. Max Schell and George Armani get into a huge fight. I'm, I'm nine. I'm nine years old. <laughs> the movie ends and it's like. <laughs> it's like crickets. I'm so depressed. My career has not even started yet. It's over. The studio hates it. They don't want to release it. Gilo Pontecorvo is the one guy who likes me in the world. Maximilian, of course, thought the movie was garbage. I fly back to Los Angeles. I'm getting off the plane. 
And there's a sign that says, call this number, James Grace. I call the number and they said, the movie has won, you have to fly back. <laughs> what? I run, I go out there, I'm, I'm, I go back, Monica Beatty is kissing me, the David Lynch is the head of the jury, he's like, that was incredible, kid! <laughs> I have dinner with Al Pacino, he's like, that's what a fantastic film. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> So, you know, miserable Jew goes to stud and I'm out of the <laughs> How did we get on this? <laughs> it's very obvious that COVID has affected me because I'm not, I have not got out and gotten out very well. <laughs> uh, well, James, I'm 